Hello everybody and welcome back to episode number three of the Dungeon Master Challenge. This series is doing really well. It's easily like the most successful series on my channel just based on how the beginning episodes have gone. And I'm really enjoying it. It is a lot of fun to make. Y'all seem to really enjoy it. So I'm going to keep making it. I see no reason to stop making this at any time, so here we are with episode three. Today we need to progress, but I don't want to sit here doing a whole bunch of random useless stuff. Instead we need to do, uh, what is it? What's the name of this quest? It's studying the corrupt so we can access the next dungeon. The Sanctuary Bridge. Alright, it's time for us to do Studying the Corrupt so we can access the Lost Sanctuary Dungeon. Why are you joining my world? It's always concerning when that happens. It makes me think that they're going to come bother me. Stop, stop, stop. This isn't working. Great, now Ragni's soldier is here for a progress report. Soldier, we haven't made any progress getting to Gareth. Truth is, we simply don't know enough about him to know how to deal with this. Maybe if you could help us find out more, we could figure this out. Gareth, many years ago, lived and studied in Elkern. Might be a good place to start. Studying the corrupt. Let us go. No, don't do it. They really need to, like, redo that cutscene. Because this one's been the same since this quest came out, I think. Never being redone to be... Not just armor stands moving. Forcing a square into a circle. Alright, there we go. Quest completed and we got one key for the dungeon. I don't know how many keys I'm going to need for this dungeon. Uh, potion merchant. We sell 25 potions. That are still still weaker than the crafted potions that I can do, so I need to just stick with crafted ones. That's definitely worthwhile. I lose one strength, but I gain a moderate amount of damage. I lose a lot of speed from, like, walk speed from that, but that health and defense increase is worthwhile. I think I'm just going to be stuck sitting with the spider set. So I guess I'll get an upgrade to my green hoof, so I need to do this dungeon five times. I'm going to go ahead and do a tiny bit of gathering. I'm going to make myself some slightly better potions, and I'm going to make myself a food to use for this dungeon. Alright, we have returned to the room Isles, because supposedly one, one or both of these south islands, I don't know which one, will have... The next tier of farming crop for me. Yep, here we go. Malt. Level 30. So we're going to gather up a bunch of this, and then we're going to do some fishing, and with the fish and oil we gather from fishing and the malt that we gather, malt grains, we'll be able to make ourselves some level 30 potions. Hopefully they don't end up being like level 32 or something. And then we can make ourselves a level 30 food that way we can just run into the dungeon. Let's do some farming. All right, level 37 and we got the 27 grains that I was after. Now I have to figure out where on earth I get carp from. Of all the different places that I can fish carp from, the only one that I know for a fact is safe. Like the only place that I know for a fact is safe for me to go is Remek East Lower, because if I go to any of the other places in uh, Remek, I'm not actually within the city, and if I'm not within the city, I'm at risk of being attacked by things that will destroy me. So I need to very quickly 
navigate my way all the way down there and I'm gonna hit a lot of places that I haven't been to before on my way there so I will potentially I haven't hit this city yet and I haven't hit the, I might level up to 31 in the process which would be interesting let's find out why is it not discovering the town itself yeah, that does not give me the discovery, and I don't know why. I need that XP. Well, I guess we're not leveling up. Let's do some fishing. 18 total, six of which being meat. Let's get the meat first. And then any higher tiers that I get, I will save for later. For now, I only need the basic tier. And there's 12, okay. So now I have everything I need to make the regular potions. And I have everything I need to make one food. Six of those, and three of those. Four and two, level 30 to 33. Please be a level I can use. I really don't want this to be unusable. And I don't feel like grinding up levels just to use it. It is level 30, perfect. So it's 10 poison and 7 health regen. At least it's not the minimum. <laughs> and our potions are... We got level 32 that I can't use. Level 33 that I can't use. That's worse than the 32. 31 that I can't use. And... A 31 that I can't use. Okay, that's not surprising. I feel like going with the defense potion this might be the wrong choice but that's the choice that I'm gonna make that I'm gonna make all right let's go fighting fire with fire all right parkour done uh, creeper Scared creepers aren't really an issue. The issue is the enemies near them. Now I don't fight. Now I just run. Because now it's just the tree portion. Do you just melee? Because if all you do is melee, this becomes a hell of a lot easier. Because I just have to not get hit. No, you don't just melee. Okay. And that's nine. Effortless. And now I just need him to walk forward. GG. Dungeon complete. Literally effortless. Hell yeah. Alright, so we got a Gareth's Breath. Three Lost Sanctuary Fragments. Super easy. Not a challenge. So I guess now what we need to do is we need to farm up this dungeon four more times. I won't even need the food or anything that was not necessary at all. Dungeon's stupid easy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab the fishing rod. Just because it's one of the ones. We'll ditch our old fishing rod and put the new one in. Lost Sanctuary Key Guardian. Hell yeah. There's one. Oh, that's another Legend of Zelda reference. Okay. Lost Sanctuary Key Guardian. Number two. They're actually called cuckoos. Of course they are. There's a key guardian. Aha! Alright, that is three out of four down. One more to go. Oh, hello. 
I was eating and the key guardian just spawned right next to me. Okay. Well, there's my fourth key. Let's go. No buffs this time. We don't need them. There we go. 7700 XP. Not bad. Grab all my emeralds. Alright, and with this we are able to buy both of our remaining tools. I can buy, I believe I bought the fishing rod. Yeah, so I can buy the scythe and the axe. Axe and scythe. Oh wait. Scythe. And there we go. GG, that's level 32. There we go. That is three out of four. Oh, set item. Adventurer's cap. Lovely. And now you get to die in the lava. For the fifth and final time, and these don't want to stack. I don't know why. Something about the pouch makes them not stack. Alright, throw that. We got a couple stacks of emeralds. Not much. Alright, dungeon... Dungeon. Dungeon merchant. Sell me mud. And then that... Me a 15 strength, so now I can wear that. There we go. 745 health. It does. Beautiful. There's level 33. Let's go in. Let's see if I can take this out without buffs this time. Yikes. Got him. Oh, exit's over there. There we go. So we got another corn husk and another beef tongue. Come on. He's almost dead. There we go. Yikes. Let's get out. We almost died too, but we did not. I would attempt the rotten passage boss altar, but I can't currently access the Rotten Passage. I need to do a quest first. And even after doing that quest, I run face first into the issue of I can't kill that boss. I have to see if I can get some massive damage increase in addition to having a whole bunch of health regen for that boss, because that boss will hurt and I have no way of doing enough damage to kill it right now. because I fought that boss with better gear than I have, and I lost. So my potions and scrolls and stuff, they have to be really good to make a difference. So if I do the Rotten Passage boss altar, I have a massive hindrance. So in order to access this boss altar, I have to do Grave Digger to get into this area, because if I try and go there now, it blocks me off. And completing Grave Digger gives me Sailoros' ashes, like his brother's ashes. And those are a quest item that are going to be stuck in my inventory or my pouch, so I perpetually lose an extra slot just getting that. That is annoying. So I'm definitely not even going to attempt that unless I know I can take it out. So I'm going to do a little bit of research and see if I can get back to farming we go, I guess.